How's it going folks? This is Kyle Cumberton with Parkway RV. And what I got for you today is a 2021 Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser 23 RSS. But before we get too far into the video today, I do just want to let you guys know that if you're having any issues with the videos or anything, you can't see things, the camera's shaking too much, or the exposure is a little dark, just let me know down in the comments, because I am kind of new to this run and gun vlogging style video. You know, all my previous work has been um, like stand, standing cameras on tripods, uh, shot lists, lighting setup, stuff like that. So this is definitely a little bit of new avenue of video for me, but I'm gonna get it right. It'll just take me some time and your help telling me what I'm doing wrong to help you guys out and make it better. Uh, Cause you know, I wanna give you guys the best product possible and these RVs are for you. So if you can't see them, then what's the point, you know? But that being said, um, let's get into it, guys. Um, so as always, we'll start with the length. Uh, the full length is 26 feet, one inch. The height is 10 feet, six inches. We have a dry weight of 3,920 pounds and it sleeps five comfortably. As for the amenities, we have an aftermarket gen tray, aftermarket subwoofer and sound bar, and a color-coded interior. All right, guys, let's get in there. So as we first come up, I'll show you that generator tray. You could hook up a nice generator right here, go out in the woods, be off grid, even though you look like you just came out of Detroit 1952. Um, we have a power tongue jack, so you don't have to work too hard. Um, propane tanks and our battery tray. This does have a all fiberglass laminated body with a fiberglass roof. We have this really nice mint pinstripe that goes down the side. It's kind of a pinstripe. I guess it's a, it's a little thicker than a pinstripe, technically. We have your power port over here and these really nice classic dog dish hubcaps. I don't really know why they ever stopped making dog dish hubcaps. They just look so, I don't know, clean and cool even if they don't look or even if it's not a super practical design for modern cars and stuff i wish we got to see them more and i'm really glad we get to see them on this vintage cruiser i'll take a step back show you that rear and here is the side we have your nice eight foot awning up there and this does have outdoor speakers so you guys can jam out while you're sitting outside at the campfire these steps are really solid there's no creaking or ricketiness when you step up um, and here's the interior guys the first thing you'll notice is this Daphne blue couch right here it is uh, a leather like vinyl which is in my opinion a little bit nicer than a leather because in a camping van you know it's bound to get dirty and the vinyl cleans up a lot more easy um, but we just have this really nice color-coded interior I love this kitchen table it looks like an actual old enamel kitchen table. Um, we have a dinette that folds out into a bed and also this jackknife sofa folds out into a bed as well. Let's see if I can get that lifted up for you. There you go. Um, under each of these dinettes we do have a little bit of, let me see if I can get the light to adjust. A little bit of a storage area Ooh. 
Um, up top, a radio and some nice storage space on either side. A TV mount if you'd like to mount a TV and watch while you eat your breakfast. Um, and as for the kitchen, we have this really nice classic wood grain style cabinetry. Um, we have a stainless steel sink with a cutting board cover for extra preparation space when you're cooking. Um, we have a nice ambient light underneath the kitchen. I do really like when they add ambient lighting into these because not only does it co look cool, but it's a good thing to keep on at night so if you're walking through the trailer, you're not going to stick your toe on something you don't want it to. Um, I really like that. Um, above here, we have your aftermarket sound bar. And then right below that, here is our um, our microwave, which is also stainless steel and kind of has the stainless steel venting around it, which a lot don't have. And it does look aesthetically very pleasing and adds a nice functionality. Now, one thing that really surprised me about this was it has real tile backsplash. Most of these you come in, they do have backsplash. You look at it, you tap on it, and it is just like a vinyl wrap, which is fine, and that works great. It's just really cool to see actual tile in here, and I'm really glad they did because it fits the vintage feeling a lot better. Um, we also do have a hood vent for your stove so it won't get too smoky in here while you're cooking. And this does come with a three burner oven. Um, the it is an extra package. The original models only come with a two burner, but it's nice so you can cook your weenies, your mac and cheese, and your baked beans all at the same time. Um, let's check out that oven. It's not the biggest oven in the world, like no RV oven is, but it'll certainly do the job for anything you need to bake on the go. Um, we have more storage right here and two drawers for utensils or whatever you need. Um, and now we have this nice big fridge. I do really like the locks on these fridge. They're very comfortable. It's simple. You just pull to the side and pull out. They don't feel like they'd break. Here is that fridge with your vegetable crisper down there. And this does have a really nice big freezer. You know, a lot of the freezers are just a little bit smaller in RVs and this one has a pretty well-sized freezer. So if you're an ice cream, not a dessert treat, you can keep your brown cows in there, your freezy pops, anything you want to. Um, let's take a step back and look down the hallway. I do really like this curved wood on the bathroom. Um, I don't know why, but it helps reinforce that vintage feel. And just the color of the wood all around looks fantastic with the teal i really like that we have this nifty little fan up here that looks like something you'd see in somebody's office in the 40s nice and chrome i really like that um right here we're going to have the shower it is a really nice sized shower guys you could fit you could fit your whole self in there twice probably with your arms stretched out I mean not really but you know I can get in here and I can put my chicken wings out pretty nicely have no issues there also is this curved bar up here so that gives you extra room to move your arms around when you're rubbing and scrubbing um, yeah guys that's a nice little shower and right across the hall from it we do have the toilet with the sink man i really like these uh cream counters with the daphne blue 
um, siding to it. It looks really nice. I really like that. Here, it wouldn't really be vintage if it didn't have a medicine cabinet, would it? There's really ample storage space in this bathroom. We have a good shelf up there for towels or anything like that you might need. Um, pretty decent space underneath um, the sink right there. And then another little storage shelf right there where you could store shampoos or anything like that to use in the bathroom over or use in the shower over here when you're not in it. Um, and here we have the master bedroom with those vintage cruiser pillowcases. I love that, guys. Um, but this is a really nice little uh, master bedroom area. Each person has their own space on either side of the camper. Um, we have his and hers little closets on either side. Oop, here, let me let me close these blinds a little bit, get some more, get some of this unwanted light out of here. Oh, and I just noticed that the curtains have a really quaint little map pattern on the back of them. That's nice. That's fun. Um, but yeah, we have these ooh, these his and hers um, little closets on either side. They're not super long, so you could probably couldn't hang a dress in there or anything. Um, here is some more storage space up top. Where is the thing? Doggone light. There we go. That's much better. All right, let me step back and get another wide shot so you can see everything with the light on. There we go. Yeah, it feels really comfortable in here, guys. There's another TV stand for the bedroom. And as far as privacy goes back here, we do have this curtain. And, you know, it's not a ton, but... I honestly prefer the curtain sometimes over the privacy doors just because they tuck away easier and don't take up as much space, you know? Um, so yeah, guys, this has been the Vintage Cruiser. I really like it. It's a really great little stylistic camper. Um, if you're a form and function type of person, this would be great for you. Um, you know, one thing I always look at in these campers is kind of how comfortable the livability in them is. Like how, and this one just, I don't know, this just feels like it could be your home away from home a little bit. You pull up to the campsite, you throw on some Jerry Lee Lewis, put on your Tommy Bahamas, and feel like you stepped right back in time to when the great American road trip was every family's dream. But... That being said, guys, let's go outside, let's take a look at some numbers, and then I'll get out of your hair for the day. Sound good? All right, let's go. Alrighty, guys, so the MSRP for a 2021 Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser is $22,900, but we have it on the lot here today for $19,900. So that's a cool three grand off not too bad and i do want to remind you guys that we are fee and haggle free so you don't have to try to come down here and fight us for a better deal or we're not going to poke you with some extra fees right before you're about to sign those papers um and also keep in mind that when we're, i'm walking around these things if you see any issues or anything there might be a deal breaker for you um, just keep in mind that we do service our vehicles once they are purchased. So anything within reason that is damages will be fixed by the time you were to come and pick it up. Um, but we do have a little bit of a lead wait time on that due to the influx of campers we've been selling. But you could just talk to your salesman and they should be able to give you a frame of time. Um, is there anything else I'm missing, guys? I don't think so. Oh, that phone number. Um, you know, if you liked it and you're interested in it and you don't have time to come down here, you can always give us a call at 
965-765-7929. Alrighty, guys. I believe that's it. I'm Kyle Cumberton with Parkway RV, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.